Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're looking at the Puppet Master this week, the man in charge, arguably. <laughs> the, uh, the the puller of strings from each side of the, of the Clone Wars. We have Darth Sidious here. Um, bewilders me how this figure became so rare. Um, it was rare at the time I got it too, I was... I can't remember someone someone had given it to me in a trade. I can't remember. I, I got it for a, for a steal though, um, so I still thank myself for being. Well, I thank myself. <laughs> I I thank being being able to be very lucky to it to to acquire this figure when I did, um, and yeah, it was carded when I got it, but being the collector I am, I uh, slice that baby off the card. So there we have Snap on Sith Lightning Darth Sidious. The mysterious Darth Sidious manipulates events from the shadows to achieve his evil plans. He keeps his identity a secret as he gives orders to his minions and uses his power and cunning to influence others and shape the outcome of the war. Some other characters in the line Hondo Onaka, Anakin Skywalker in Snow Gear. We have Thysen. Clone Commander Stone and Commander TX-20. I do have all these figures. I don't think I've reviewed any of them yet. Maybe I did Anakin, I can't remember. I don't think I have, actually. But there's some cool ones there. Again, this is 2000 and... Where are we? 2009, 2010, sort of in in line with the, the Legacy Collection of 2009. So let's take a look at the figure. Obviously, he is on a stand. Others uh, accessories he comes with is his his lightsaber. Now, I'm not sure if that's the exact one he come with, but it is Darth Sidious's lightsaber. And he also does come with, like the packaging said, snap on lightning. We'll see how that looks in a moment. We'll get a look at the figure. You can just sort of see his eyes under there. Really nicely done, actually. I mean, I, I can't remember. I dare say that was a separate piece underneath. Interesting, we never got any other versions of Sidious or Palpatine in all his glory. That would have been a really nice, you know, base for a head sculptor to, to do a Palpatine figure, like a Chancellor, Chancellor Palpatine. But it does look nice. I still. I st I really do like this figure, despite, you know, it doesn't have any leg articulation. The legs are definitely sort of very, very cartoony, I will say. It's very sort of skinny and cartoony. That's, But the silhouette of the figure, you know, with the robes, you know, it, it's it's pretty cool. It is cool. I don't even think, there's not even any movement articulation below the hips. There's no leg articulation whatsoever. Uh, he does have the hinges on the shoulders and the elbows. He has swivels in the wrists. And then, yeah, the head kind of just swivels and not even a swivel at the waist. So, yeah, it is it is a strange, strange figure in that sense that there's, you know, it's limited in its articulation, which a lot of, like I've said before, a lot of Clone Wars figures were limited, particularly early on. Um, when they started hitting their stride, they uh, they really they really got there. Um but yeah, this one never really saw an update or or anything like that. So as you can sort of see, they just sort of snap around the wrist there. And you can have him use his electricity power. Yeah, just liking looking underneath that hood. You just sort of see that head sculpt, which is just, you know, even this sort of shadowing around the eyes, the sort of around the mouth in all the cracks it looks good you know for a hood that's not removable it certainly does its job but yeah peg holes down the bottom 2009 LFL looks film limited but yeah can, I think it would have been cool to see you know an updated version sort of 
post was it season five I think when he took on Maul and Savage on Mandalore with both with both of his sabers it was the first time we really realized that he had two sabers even though in Revenge of the Sith he does use two sabers just at different times Yeah, he's he's a cool looking figure. Just stylized enough. I wouldn't call him an action figure by any stretch because it's not a lot of action going on. But yeah, he's cool. Yeah, depending on how you want to have that lightning, you probably have it on the bottom like that. For gripping in his fingers. So that looks kind of cool too. But yeah, this is a figure I've been wanting to get to for a little bit. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a, taking a look at this guy. Darth Sidious. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Chancellor. Emperor Palpatine. Sheev. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. So, yeah. I appreciate you guys checking this one out. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. It's been fun. It's been, been looking forward to giving giving this one a bit of a look out for a little while. And now we have him. So until next week, let me know what you think down in the comments below. See you again very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.